Hello mates! Welcome back to our vlog. Medyo matagal tayo nawala, no? Anyhow, sabi ko kapag mangyayari na to, babalik ako sa vlog kasi kailangan ko ikwento to sa inyo. How to have your student visa granted with no agency. Stay tuned! simulan yung kwentuhan, eto muna, pakita ko sa yung timeline na We launched the application last fourth week of March. And then on third week of April, nag-medical. No contact from the immigration. And then first week of July, nag na po. Finally, nag na. Just a disclaimer, I am not an immigration officer. I don't offer services. Anyhow, this is the third time that I applied for a um, visa na walang agency. So, somehow, when you keep on doing it, nagbibuild up din yung um, confidence mo to do things. But I do not recommend this kasi um, it's, it's a risk. It's a risk na ikaw-ikaw lang, especially if it's your first time. But if it's not your first time, and um, I think you'll be alright. Nung panahon, nung una, when I was um, applying on my own for my visa, yung talaga yung nagtulak sa akin is yung dollars na bayad. Kasi I, I was still a student at that time and I can't afford. I think yung hiram, uh, single nila nun is like $5,000? Roughly mga ganun. Which is around almost 200,000 um, pesos. And even if I'm I'm already a student here, mabigat pa rin sa akin yun. So, yun talaga nag-push sa akin. Datong. <laughs> Walang datong. Magsumikap. Ang mindset ko talaga is, I am the migration officer. Step by step, I try to criticize yung mga pinapadala ko na mga um, evidences. And then, um, and I ask myself again, is this enough? Will this take out the doubt in the minds of the... Um, immigration agent kung sino magtitingin ng papel ko. So, um, so ayun naman, naging successful naman yung um, previous two visas ko. And then, ayun na nga, heto tayo ngayon. Gumagawa na naman ng another visa. Not for me, not for me, but for someone. But I don't offer services, ha? Sakit sa ulo, eh. Magtatarbaho na lang ako ng extra shift. Here in our case, what made me think na it's a strong application is because one, yung pathway, so our case here is a um, registered nurse currently working two plus or two plus years in the Philippines, and who will be taking certificate three and four of aged care services. Madami nagtatanong bakit um, certificate three and four from RN then pababa. Some would take diploma um, or certificate four derecho, but. Anyhow, we chose Certificate 3 and 4 mainly because when I was still a student, ganun naman yung kurso ng mga kaklase ko eh. Then, madami akong mga uh, uh, classmates na ganun. So, um, should be alright, I guess. And then, nowadays, very yung shortage. Talagang ramdam na ramdam mo. Yung shortage ng um, health workforce. Oh, walang tao, walang staff. So, um, especially sa age care, um, hard job so um, we thought this is very uh, timely application and a good choice to where uh, to where is the need of Australia at the moment one point to consider as well is your financial capacity some school would want show money some would not but um, anyhow naglagay na din kami there's a calculation sa website ng immigration how much will be your show money and um, iko compute mo kasi yon siya eh kung magkano yung gagastusin mo while you were staying here. So, um, we um, went for the safe side. Yung show money talaga is like pera sa bangko. It's not a, um, it's not an asset. It's 
it's not a house, it's not lupa. Before I had some friends na they don't have an actual um, money in the bank, so pinakita nila si lupa. So um, so yun ang problema siya sa application niya. Aside from money sa bank, we also made sure na we presented the evidence na yung magsu sponsor in this case is a family may ongoing earning siya. So, para lang makita natin na kaya-kaya siyang buhayin kahit hindi siya magtrabaho, kaya siyang buhayin, kaya kaya niyang kaya siyang suportahan ang family niya dito. On top of the financial um, evidences, kailangan mo ding i-prepare ang budget, of course. Yun naman talaga, budget. So, here ang estimated budget natin is 4,580,000 dollars. Naalala ko noon dati nung nag-apply ako dito, like, all my ipon talaga when I was working in the Philippines. Yun yung ubos just to get here. So, for, so 4,580, this includes visa cost, which is 630. Um, overseas student health care, which is one of the requirements, costs around 1,200. May bang school, they would recommend na ito daw yung gamitin niya na health insurance. But you have the liberty to... Um, choose. So, talagang research lang which one is mas um, makakamura kayo. And benefits then of course. Kasi mabigat to sa bulsa kasi kung two course, courses ang um, kukunin mo, that would be around a little over two years. So, a little over two years babayaran mo ng um, health insurance mo. Just some tips sa medical insurance nyo. Really be diligent on looking for um, medical insurance na kung saan yung swak sa budget and sa benefits like what I've said earlier. You can choose from AHM, Medibank, NIB. AHM ako dati. Yun yung pinakamura. Hindi naman pong punta sa GP na. So, yun. Uh, what else? Uh, Bupa. Aside from that is 2 grand ang budget natin sa school. So, sa school kasi we will pay the first term ng buo and then yung enrollment fee nila, transaction fee, something like that. So that, that one went around 2000 And then medical sa Pilipinas. So we put a budget of around 350 I'm speaking in dollars ha. And then sa flight natin, mga 500 siguro. So um, <clears throat> this is just an estimate. Siguro more or less ang totoong nagastos dito. But um, ayan tayo na yung pera nyo. It's expensive, really. Going to Israel is expensive, really. And next, na, ito talaga, madami ako nakikita sa Facebook group na madaming nare-refuse because of their GPE. Pero ito, it's genuine temporary entrance. May video tayo nito. Link below. Paano ginawa ng estudyante natin ang GPE niya? Ginalingan niya talaga. Like, like kung ako ang immigration officer, mm, pasa, halika na. But yeah. Nasa video po natin, kabilang video po natin yan. I think talagang na-hit niya yung mga, I think na-hit niya talaga yung mga tick box. Bakit niya gusto mag-aaral sa Australia? Anong babalikan niya sa Pilipinas? Kalingan niyo yung GTE niyo guys, kasi madaming nare-refuse niya. With this um, case, I was overwhelmingly confident na we won't have problems sa GTE. Hindi ako gumawa ng GTE ha. <laughs> yung estudyante, kasi dapat siya yung... If you have any questions, suggestions, and clarifications, just comment down below in our um, comment section. Or if nahiya kayo, you can directly message me. We have a Facebook um, page linked down below, and you can just uh, ask me a personal message. Nagre reply naman ako. Means hindi ko nakikita. Say, yung po messenger is a bit funny, but magre reply naman tayo sa abot ng ating mga kaya. Before this video ends, ipap ipapakita ko sa inyo yung um, mga documents na pinasa namin. And hopefully that would help you and start your Australian dream. See you later.